County, Florida, where adults are coming out tonight, young adults are coming out this evening and talk about living in Lake County. We're on location in Tavares, Florida, at the Tavares Civic Center, and I am sitting here with Francine Garcia. She is the Vice President of the Lake County Democratic Black Caucus. How are you doing this evening? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for um, hosting the Black Caucus, for hosting um, this event. You could have had pastors here this evening. You could have had politicians. You could have had teachers. Um, I can go down the list. Why did you choose young adults? Because young adults, everything that's happening now will affect their future. We, as the older generation, as they call us, have fought for our rights and done what we could do. Now the mantle is passed to them, to, to, for them to, to make a difference, to make them understand that this is for you. You need to make sure that your future is solidified with the things that you want by voting for the people you wish to have do things for you. And that's why I feel that they need to get engaged. It's too many young people out here thinking, oh, we'll leave it to someone else. And when you turn around, it's going to be 50 years later, and they will be back at the same, having the same problems that we had in 1964. So I feel that it's, it's an, time is of the essence for them, because the 2014 election is very important, and this is the time for them to act. That's, that's, that's great. Now, this forum, this platform that the Lake County Democratic Black Caucus is hosting this evening is a little different because one would say um, it's just for the African Americans. Um, but tonight, I see on the platform that you don't just have African American uh, representing the young adults in, in Lake County. You do have other races involved um, this evening. Um, give me some insight on that. Well, this is not a race issue. It's a youth issue at this time. It's the next generation issue. It's the issue for those, those uh, people who are coming up later on, who are in school now, who need their, their um, student loans lowered, who need certain things to be able to get to that level where they can become the future politicians. So it's not just African Americans. It's all youth, all the youth. that. It, it doesn't just affect one facet of, of, of the uh, society, it affects everyone. So everyone should be engaged. That's, that's, that's great. Um, I did get some feedback on that, and I'm really, really glad that you addressed that. Um, there were some, certain people that, um, that I was in contact with, and they, they were very excited to know that although the Black Caucus was hosting this, that you opened the platform up to, to everyone. Uh, not just African American. Um, I want to take you back uh, a year or two when um, the new, with the president, the new, um, the new heads of the Lake County Democratic Black Caucus came into the new election for the new president and vice president. And I was sitting in on a meeting, and one of the things that you and the um, uh, Michael Grant, the president, stated was that you wanted to make a difference in Lake County, that you wanted the Lake County Democratic Black Caucus to, to really, really make an impact um, with, with this county. Do you feel that you have accomplished that? Um, and if so, can you kind of elaborate to us on that? I think we've done some of the work we said we're going to do, but we have a long way to go. And the only way that I'll feel that we have accomplished something if I see that the youth are engaged, that they come out and support the issues they need supported, and when I see that done, then I know we would have accomplished what we wanted. We want the, uh, the Lake County Black Caucus to be known as a community base. We don't want them to just look for us to come around at election time. We want to be there for them. We want them to know that there's a place to go when they have problems or a place to to come for help. So we want the youth to take that too and start developing their own way of doing things so that the future is secured. Not only just for the, the, the youth of today, the young adults, 
but for all Americans because it starts at the, the lower level, the level of age. They have the, they have the energy, the thing and the power. In the 60s, it was the youth who were out there. So right now, we need the youth to do what was done then. Maybe not the same way, but they need to step up because the other generation is pretty tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, they get tired. I mean, you can't be doing this for 100 years. You have to, the next generation has to look and say, okay, it's time for me to do because you know what? It's affecting me. Well, you're very passionate about that. Very, very passionate. What what kind of suggestions um, can you give to any of um, churches or anyone that's affiliated with the young adults to get them registered to vote? That's important. And then to you know, what can what can we do to get more young adults in that platform where their mindset is that I have to register to vote? and I need to vote, you know, what, what can you suggest um, to, to do about that? Well, I always feel that, I feel that a lot of the youth today don't know their history. And if they need, if they knew their history, they would really be uh, engaged to do something. Because I remember when I was in college and I uh, watched this film, Keep Your Eye on the Prize. Now that I was around, you know, I was a youth around that time, but had not realized that what was going on and I think that once we tell the youth where you came from and where you should be I think that will empower them more than anything else because if you don't know your history you're not going anywhere you're going to repeat what what happened so to know your history also is to to light a fire under you say no I don't want to go back to that I want to go forward and and um, and, and it's the whole thing with the youth not knowing where they came from, what the struggles really were. And, um, and, and to tell them this is what you need in order to vote, you should vote, and hopefully they'll register to say, hey, my mother and father, you know, they stood on line forever to, to vote, to even register, and here I am taking this for granted. No, I need to be out there. And, and we need to make sure they know what happened in the past. Yes. Do you think that um, in Lake County, let's, let's talk about, um, because we're here and this platform is, is in reference to young adults living here in the Lake County area. Um, do you think that once they graduate from school and they leave, do you think they come back? And, and if, you, if they don't come back, why, why do you feel they don't return back to Lake County? Well, because I don't think we're not offering the youth anything to come back to. It, it takes a lot of money to get an education. If you can't get a job comparable to what you spent on your education, what is it all about unless you just have a passion of coming back to your native land? But uh, unless we get jobs, unless we get a new way of doing business here and, and show them that, yes, when you come back, you can contribute something and, and somebody will be there to welcome you and, and there'll be something here for you to do. But uh, until we do that, we're gonna lose all of our youth um, somewhere else, even to get their education somewhere else. Because the education here is, is, is not what people would think it should be. And so, um, unless we change our way of educating our children, and uh, having jobs for them, we're, we're in a losing battle. I think that this is just a wonderful thing that's going on this evening. I know that people will be out. Um, to hear what the young adults have to say. I personally spoke with um, all of the participants today and they are just excited that the Black Caucus is hosting this event and that you're wanting to hear the voices um, of the young adults here. Um, I've even received phone calls from um, other young people that's not a part of the platform mm -hmm. that said that they would be here this evening and they are actually excited also. So you started something in Lake County um, that, well, our group has started <laughs> because no leader is alone, an island, as they say. No man is an island, and my my uh, anchors are sitting here in my in the audience. They are the people that push me to do things and support me and support the president as well, Michael Grant, in doing a lot of these things. And we, like we said. We're here to try to make a difference. We're here to make people know that there is a caucus, a black caucus, 
and we're here for everyone. We do concentrate on our African American um, community because we need to educate them and get them out to vote and support what has been gained in the past so that they, they don't lose what was gained in the past 50 years ago. We don't need to squander what we gained back then. So we, we want to hold on to the ability to have a voice and vote. Now, if someone wanted to get in contact with the Black Caucus and, you know, maybe become a member, um, I'll ask a question about voting. How would they get in contact with the Black Caucus? Well, the Black Caucus, we are online. We have a, a Facebook page. Um, we have, we're on Twitter. Um, and, and also, we're here every Tuesday, the, I'm not every Tuesday, every first Tuesday of the month at 6.30 here in Tavares. And, uh, Civic Center, and um, I don't want to give my number out, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can find us on Facebook and and, um, okay. and Twitter. All right. Now, tell me some exciting things that's getting ready to happen for. Um, tell me some exciting things that's going on with the Black Caucus. Any events coming up that's exciting that you want everyone to know about? Well, yes. Um, Funny you should mention <laughs> our annual event and event evening with friends is a fun evening that we all get together and um, we have a dinner and a little dancing, a little politicking because we are a political group. Um, and that's going to happen on September 20th at the uh, Claremont Arts and Recreation Center on Highway 27. Um, and the uh, Will, it'll be from 6 to 10. And if anybody wants to get in touch with me, you can call 352-227-4094, and I will have tickets available or some information for you. But this should be a fun evening, so come out. You know, we don't just politic, but we have fun as well. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much, Francine. Mm -hmm. I, I do want you to know that the Black Caucus, the Lake County Democratic Black Caucus, became he a hero to the young adults living here in Lake County this evening. So I do want you to know that. And viewers, I want you to stay tuned because uh, right after this, you will be hearing the voices of the young adults of Lake County.